What's up everyone, Sam Astroth here with a few shout outs to some killer recent albums. First up, I got one of my favorite bands of all time, it's Japanese Visual K Phenomenon, Duran Grey with their 11th full length album, Phalaris. Fittingly having 11 songs in total, which came out on June 15th via Firewall Div Records. What I love about this band is you literally have no idea how each new album will sound until it comes out. Vocalist Keo is by far one of the most creative musicians and artists to ever exist. Go watch their 30 plus music videos and you'll see that Keo looks completely different in each video and never has the same composition in any two singles. The album opens with a gigantic 10 minute epic transitioning into a bunch of three to four minute diversely written songs and ending with a nine minute banger. Next up, I'm going to give a shout out to my bro Chris's band Red Handed Denial from Toronto releasing their third full length album, I'd Rather Be Asleep, which came out on June 3rd independently. Chris and I go way back, like 20 years, when we both used to be aspiring pro gamers, mainly playing Soul Calibur in tournaments, with him maining Yansung and Huang and me obviously playing as Astroth, till we both focused our attention towards becoming better musicians. <laughs> Fronted by the well-known YouTuber Lauren Babic, I've seen them grind it out independently since 2008, releasing EPs, albums, going on tour, and just putting in hard work. This 10-track album has diverse solid songwriting throughout, and it definitely shows their efforts. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to Motionless and White with their sixth full-length album, Scoring the End of the World, which came out on June 10th via Roadrunner Records. I've been a fan of the band since their debut album, Creatures, which I thought was a stellar metalcore release. Throughout the years, they have experimented with and evolved their sound between new metal to gothic and industrial metal. Their latest album combines all of their influences till date to create a solid 13 song album with some sweet features. Consisting of Brian Garris of Knock Loose, Caleb Shomo of Beartooth, the video game soundtrack writer Mick Gordon on the title track, and my good friend Lindsay Schoolcraft on not one but two songs. Definitely go check this one out, guys. And finally, the new Belfagor album, The Devils, is coming out soon, so watch out for my review for that. Hold up, you know the drill by now. Want more killer content like this? Then hit that like and subscribe button below and join our Patreon channel. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.